Hello everyone, Chappy here. Has anyone out there ever wanted to buy a Steadicam but simply can't afford it, especially right now, like, you know, the way the economy is? Well, if that's the case, I'm going to show everyone how to make a low-budget Steadicam for around $30. For this tutorial, we are going to be creating the Steadicam with half-inch galvanized pipe fittings. Start off with two 12-inch pipes, one 6-inch pipe, three caps, and a T-fitting. We are also going to need some one quarter inch hardware, including two flat washers, two nuts, four lock washers, a wing nut, and two two inch screws. Now it's very important that all the hardware is one quarter inch 20. This is because that is the universal thread size on most camcorders on the market today. The last thing to calculate is the counterweights. Now since I'm making this video with a Panasonic DVX-100A, which weighs about three and three quarter pounds, according to the manual, I want to put on three and three quarter pounds as the counterweight to balance out the rig. Start off by center punching both the caps to ensure that the hole is drilled center. Then drill the hole carefully. Make sure to use some WD-40 to make it easier. When you are finished, this is what the caps should look like. Now it's time to install the hardware. Prep both drilled caps by installing a lock washer and screw just like this. Then put another lock washer on this side with a nut behind it. Use a 7 16th wrench with a Phillips screwdriver to tighten it all up. This is what both caps should look like. Now take the wing nut and install it upside down onto one of the cap assemblies. Now for the other cap assembly, install one of the flat washers and then counterweights afterwards. Put the other flat washer in place and lock it down with a 7 16th wrench. Make sure it is all good and tight so the counterweights won't shift around. Now it's time to put it all together. Start out by threading the T-fitting onto one of the 12 inch pipes, just like this. The 6 inch pipe will then go on to the opposite end of the T-fitting. After that install the other 12 inch pipe not forgetting to put on the third end cap that was not drilled. Next, install the cap with the wing nut onto the 6 inch pipe end of the rig. Then install the counterweight onto the opposite side making sure everything is tight. This is what it should look like when everything is fully assembled. For a little extra money if you want you can even throw on some handlebar grip pads from a bicycle to give yourself more control and comfort. Now very carefully thread on the camera till it bottoms out, then use the wing nut to make sure it is snug. Make sure not to put it on too tight because you could strip out the camera threads. Now for this tutorial I purchased the counterweights at a local sporting goods store and everything else at a local hardware store. And I'm certain that I could have spent less than $30 if I had really put my mind to it. Now for a side by side comparison. Check it out. Well, there it is, $30 city cam. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on Chappie Showcase. Chappie Showcase.